everybody, uh, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, hopefully in glorious 60 frames per second, instead of stupid 30 frames per second, because I'm an idiot. Here is our random. Oh, okay, just give it a second there. Azazel? I thought it was going to random random. I was pretty excited about that. We got Judas. It sped up a little bit at the end there, which to me, I think is unfair, but I'll accept it nonetheless. CM4K... V E J Y. Some for VG. We should be able to make a better pun than that, but what can I say? I'm mentally exhausted after a hard day in the Isaac mines here. Easy to forget, today started with me still finishing up the last one of those challenges, so I'm still getting used to normal here. Although, we did end up doing pretty well. Uh, think. what do you think about this one? Wow. So not only did we not blow up the rock, but we didn't find the secret room either. Now, to be fair, if the secret room had been there, it might have found it. But at least we've learned a valuable lesson about bomb radiuses today. Uh, I hate Wiggle Worm. There's a tinted rock there. I hate Wiggle Worm. I'll just, uh, you know, come out and say it. But I'll use it because it's silly. We don't necessarily need any more silliness than you start with on a, uh, on a Judas run. But I'll take it anyway. Because I like you guys. And you got a good head on your shoulders, and if you straighten up and fly right, I think you can make good things happen in this universe. For yourself and for everyone else in it. Now. The, uh, Book of Belial effect basically makes Monstro super easy, if he weren't easy enough already. Of course, the fact that we're fighting him on floor one means there will be a boss rush room on floor two in which we fight him. Because you can't go two floors without fighting Monstro. On the basement or on the cellar. Obviously, as Judas, you don't need me to say this probably at this point, but... Uh, our ideal item is not Mom's heels. Uh, that's not really going to do a whole hell of a lot for our survivability. Nor is it really going to do a whole hell of a lot for helping us do a little bit more damage. But that's okay too. Because we do have our item room still remaining here. Now we could go into that curse room and kill ourselves if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably not the most strategically advisable plan that I could possibly offer here. Sacrificial dagger is, uh, you know, an acceptable choice. But, uh... I mean, it's better now that it actually blocks shots, at least I think it blocks shots, but it's not going to really do anything for us uh, until we get enough HP that we can feel comfortable standing next to enemies in order to hurt them. So what we really have to watch out for on the next floor, the the, the shitty bomb usage might have killed me. Because if we got more bombs out of that chest, then we have two tinted rocks, maybe we open up at least one of those, that's another spirit heart probably. You know, Bob's your uncle, we end up pulling out a victory or something. What did I tell you? Of course there has to be a boss rush room here. I'm going to fight it, just in the hopes that we get some consumables here. Because, for the most part, the main thing uh, driving me there was that we had an extra uh, Book of Belial charge just kind of stored up and ready to go. So I re you know, this is a classic example of, of do as I say, not as I do. But I am getting close enough to do damage to Monstro with Sacrificial Dagger because I, I'm not afraid of anything, apparently. Which is definitely not true. Inflation... Um, you know, diseases that are largely asymptomatic until it's already too late. Oh, any of that stuff, it's truly terrifying, right? Um, monsters, aliens, of course, if they exist. If they exist. Hey, that's really good. Well, I'm super glad I went into that room. We doubled our HP and picked up a spirit heart as well. Plus, I revealed my deepest, darkest fears to a handful of strangers, which is always, um, you know, something that's nice to do this early in the day. So, we're going to go check out our item room. Uh, it contains blank card again. Honestly, I think I'll probably end up uh, going with blank card. Even though we had it on the last run and I love Book of Belial, blank card is a little cooler. A little bit more versatile as well because it doesn't just give us damage. Might Maybe make sure there's no tinted rocks back there. Might end up giving us, uh, you know, HP. Might end up giving us... The access to secret rooms that we did, well, the, the ability to see where secret rooms are that we desire to go to. Um, there's all sorts of cool stuff that can happen as a result of this. Step one is obviously getting a tarot card in the first place, but uh, now if we can get something like the starter deck, I would love it. Now, in contrast to something like the lover's card, which was like demonstrably better than Yumheart, um, if we picked up a devil card, that wouldn't demonstrably be better than Book of Belial, because it would have basically the same impact, but only one room later. We could make it work for us um, if we picked up like a trickle charge again or a 9 volt or something like that. But if we picked up trickle charge or 9 volt, that same effect would apply to Book of Belial. 
Still, I think it's kind of a cooler choice, especially, and this is a big one, if we can get something like the Joker. I said the Joker was a wanted card, and if we can actually get it, uh, use it on every floor. Basically the same effect as having the goat head. When you put it that way, it doesn't make it sound that exciting, but um, good nonetheless if you don't get the goat head. The goat head is an item that's you know worth more than the asking price, I think. All right, it's Dingle. Dingle with Sacrificial Dagger is usually like, I'm, I'm not trying to show off, but it's usually like put your money where your mouth is, right? Are you actually gonna go stand right next to him? We could. I don't even think it would put us in that much of uh, tangible danger. Probably want to avoid it for the most part, because it's really, really key, if possible, that we get a deal with the devil here. Just let him go. He'll tire himself out in a second, and then there you go. A very easy fight. Magic Mush is pretty much your ideal boss room item. That or the Pentagram, but I think Magic Mush gives you the same value as the Pentagram. And this is where we start uh, chaining together a truly amazing run here. No. But, ceremonial robes, acceptable. Okay, uh, what else are we gonna... Ooh, baby! Uh, what else are we gonna accomplish on this floor? I've already picked up a bunch of HP and a stupid amount of consumable hearts. This should guarantee us 15 cents. Actually, we picked up a trinket I've never used before. Swallowed Penny. What could this possibly do? All pennies in the game, um, all penny trinkets, I should say, to the best of my knowledge. I'm trying to think about where we should look for a secret room. They give you a chance to get something. Oh, that sucks. When you pick up pennies. You know what? I'm not actually that salty about this. We could get the red candle. I'm gonna take the red candle. I was gonna say, like, I wouldn't be salty about it if we couldn't because the blank card is fun, but we did have the blank card on the last run. So let's go for red candle. Now that we do actually have the money. It'll be more immediately useful from a damage perspective. A little bit less flexible, but I like it a lot nonetheless. And it, it helps feed into our power. Anyway, I forget what I was saying earlier. Uh, oh, I was trying to figure out what the hell um, Swallowed Penny will do. My, my gut tells me that if we pick up a penny, it gives us a chance to get a spirit heart. But really, my only thing that makes me think that is that, um, you know, spirit hearts are blue, and so is Swallowed Penny, too. But now that I think about it, another option might be maybe when we pick up Swallowed Penny, it gives us a chance to, like, have, like, a lemon mishap fire or something like that. But that would be really bad, because we're very rarely picking up pennies until after we're already at the point where all the enemies in a room are dead. So I don't know, uh, that's the reason I'm not going with the Curved Horn, even though the Curved Horn is uh, relatively, inarguably, one of the most useful trinkets in the game. That's not so good. Uh, I'm, I'm going to avoid it because I really want to find out what Swallowed Penny does, and I'm willing to sacrifice effectively a damage upgrade to get it. We're insanely powerful now, if you compare this to where we were just a floor ago. Telepills, I'm not super stoked about, but it did give us access to the secret room. I'm not going to blow those guys up. Don't take that out of context, uh, in any way, basically. Strength card is okay. I can see forever is very good. Uh, that's obviously our regular secret room that we've already seen over there. More keys is always good, and we got a double boss room. Well, that was a great uh, shot with red candle there, I'm very proud of that. It's gonna be double dingle, okay, well. I saw the dude who had the double dingles do that AMA on Reddit, so I think I'm basically an expert already on this fight. I think the proper way to handle this, if you really want to mess with Dingle, is to make sure that Dingle is kind of always rushing through these fires to get to you. That seems like it would take care of it pretty easily. Now I am putting out my own fires when I shoot him, because my fires are blocking the shots, but really easy fight there. Miss, and there we go. HP up, not bad. I didn't hear any deals with the devil go off, unfortunately. Still got an item room to explore, and, and basically, I mean, I don't want to call this a run just yet, but it's it's shaping up uh, pretty nicely. Remember, donations are something that I'm... Nothing happening there, huh? Donations are definitely something that I'm in the market for. We did manage to donate maybe like 15 cents last run. I might have... No, that was last run. Yeah. And one cent the run before it, so we're closing in on 500. 
We got a ways to go, though. The don donation machine would just accept, like, guaranteed 30 cents per run. We'd have a little bit more of a timeline. Unfortunately, uh, we don't. I'll take it. I know it's bad. I know people hate it. I love it. Not because it's good, mind you, but because it's ridiculous. And there's something to be said. You know, I, I welcome the ridiculous in my life. That was not very good. I should stop shooting while this happens. Um, but Tiny Planet, you know, there's some intricacies to it that a lot of people don't uh, give it... Wow. A lot of people don't give it uh, its proper due. you got to play a little bit differently. Basically, you want to... Oh, that was bad. You want to get close to these enemies and then fire in the opposite direction, and that'll give you a better chance of actually hitting enemies with it. Um, but it's, you know, it's still not advisable to take it if you're worried about losing on your run, but if you're worried about just having a little bit of fun, maybe you want to give it a try. For now, uh, I'm probably not going to go to our shop on this floor. We can't be fighting greed. Oh, we could... No, we can't fight greed on this floor. If it follows the same uh, rules as vanilla. The other reason, by the way, that I love going with uh, Tiny Planet is because of the weird synergies seeing if they completely break the game. I can see forever is really good. That's going to let us get out of here for free. Take our strength card with us. Uh, if I could actually get this golden poop, that might be nice and allow us to maybe get something happening on our uh, shop like. Uh, we'll be one cent shy, but that's not that big of a deal. And Common Cold. Common Cold is a super cool item. I like it a lot. I was going to say it was super good, but it's not really. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a bad item, but it's not an item that if you were like, what item do I need to win this game? You probably wouldn't say Common Cold. If you did, then you're a, a braver man than I am. Um, but uh, it, it's an item that's fun nonetheless, and that's that's really my defining characteristic here. So the most important thing, I think I'm starting to come up with an MO, you know, a, a standard kind of way to tackle these rooms with Tiny Planet and Red Candle. And my strategy is, whenever Red Candle's available, fire it because it's guaranteed damage. And it's higher damage than your actual tiers. Then, uh, focus on, on, oh, that was so bad. Then focus on doing your proper, uh, you know, Tiny Planet walking backwards damage here that you're so apparently fond of. Okay, you're not doing very well here in terms of uh, dodging bullets here, Ryan. I would like it if you were not so bad. Can you make that happen? Can you be less bad? Let's give it a try. Where's our secret rooms, though? Like, we we have I Can See Forever. I would expect to have found them a lot earlier than we just did. Or just didn't, I guess. But it doesn't really bother me because we should have a deal with the devil available regardless. Trying to make sure that he was coming in my direction before using uh, Red Candle that time. And this should sort it out, pretty much. I was firing in the wrong direction there, which was actually aiming at him. That made no sense. Okay. Tiny Planet Plus... Hopefully Lump of Coal. I feel like Tiny Planet Plus Lump of Coal... Initially, I was disappointed. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Anyway. Um, I feel like... I felt at first like uh, this was going to be like a decent synergy for us, and then, you know, Krampus came along and ruined everything. I don't feel that way anymore, although we didn't get Lump of Coal, we got Krampus's head, which I don't consider nearly as useful as uh, Red Candle here. Oh well. We'll continue moving along. This has been a very fast run thus far. We're on Catacombs 2. I would welcome the boss rush again for, for, ah, so bad. for many reasons. We'll save that for the next floor. What was our other? It's the strength card. Yeah, not that important. Let's donate. I'll only donate till 15 cents, but I, I don't want either of those items enough to go for them. Ooh, that was kind of close. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is if we can get to the boss rush room, I like it because it gives us a choice. And we don't always have choice in our uh, in our runs here. And choice is good, especially when we're trying to find new secrets, and we have not been very good. Not about secrets necessarily, but items. I kind of like our, like, concentric circles here, you know? We've got, like, uh, not only the circle from my tiny planet stuff going on here, but also the, the circle from uh, Sacrificial Dagger just kind of rotating around. It's kind of nice, because when enemies get inside of our inner circle, we just kick the shit out of them with a Sacrificial Dagger. I know it was, it was kind of looking like it was going to be nice and sentimental there for a second. Nope, no such luck. 
consumables have not been a problem thus far. By the way, the reason I'm not picking up the map is not because I think the map is just a dog shit item. I know I've <laughs> not gone on record might not be the right way to phrase that, but I've said a lot in the past that I really think the new version of the map kind of sucks. I understand fully the value of the map, and if you look at it, you stand a pretty good chance to actually uh, figure out, not through divination, but just through logic, where your uh, boss room's gonna be. Bob's rotten head, not very good for us. Um, that's all well and good, but the reason I'm not taking it is mostly just so we can donate more. So let's move along for now. There's some money there. Ideally, I would love to be able to get to 500 cents on this run before, uh, before the donation machine cramps out. That would at least take us very, very slightly more than halfway. Uh, tarot card with strength. No real reason to use the battery. No second secret room on this floor at all, apparently. And we'll head down to the next floor. We are ahead of the clock right now, and we're back on a floor where we can actually see what's going on, which, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily think that the fact that we were on Curse of Darkness last floor really uh, caused us many problems, but it is nice to not be on Curse of Darkness as well. I, I really can't tell a lie there. Oh, this is ideal. And probably one more red candle shot. If I could land it properly, which I cannot. All right. Might have to be a little bit faster. These big rooms really take it out of me. Yeah, I'm not surprised that we took damage there. I gotta admit, I'm taking some shitty damage. I don't feel like I'm playing that badly, but you know, the, the numbers kind of on this run don't really lie, right? Like, oh my god. If you hear that in the background, that's the cats are freaking out. Um, I, I'm losing so much HP and I really don't feel good about it. I, I'm gonna chalk it up to Tiny Planet to some extent. Even though I love it. Oh man, lemon mishap. <sighs> well, we were in this position because we put ourselves in this position. There's no denying that. But I, it's the same as like Cursed Eye. I feel like if you can win with Tiny Planet, you can win with anything. So it's almost like a, it is a little bit of a bravado thing. But I don't find uh, much joy in already like pushing some items out of the rotation in, in Rebirth. You know, I waited so long for it to come out. Good or bad, I want to experience some of these synergies, and even if that puts me at a disadvantage for a while here, I'm okay with that. Oh, that was so dumb. Also, stop dodging into beams. That's probably like a pretty good start. Uh, we're gonna be rolling exclusively on red hearts here in a second. This is the kind of run where I've gotta win now, because if I lose, people are gonna be furious and with good reason, I think. So at least give yourself a good chance to get a deal with the devil this time. Shouldn't be that hard. Got to figure out, like, with my range, where's the appropriate place to stand. We'll go back for that. Uh, I was going to say, we should use I Can See Forever here. Wow, that's actually quite a lot of money. And there's our second secret room, too, so we didn't totally blow it. All right, that's good incentive, right? Sometimes it's good motivation to pick those up. I know what you were thinking. Northern Line, did you almost walk into the fire there? No, 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 definitely not. No, what are you talking about? You almost walked into the fire. I don't know what that does, um, but I don't really know what um, what Swallowed Penny does. And by really, I mean I have no freaking clue what Swallowed Penny does. Gotta be careful because Red Candle can blow up Ipecac shots as they come in. Oh, man. Uh, well... Let's put it this way. I'm exceptionally happy that we got um, that we got the red candle. Otherwise, this would be a nightmare. Let's make sure that, you know, at least the common cold shots should land. If they hit, yeah. Come on, come on down. You're the next contestant on Go Fuck Yourself, I Hate You. Please? I want him to come up so I can get him to run through the fire over and over. He is refusing, though. There we go. No deal with the devil, but... HP plus luck. Acceptable. This is our boss rush floor, and of course we have another Curse of Darkness, just as I complained about the last one. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I see what you're getting. I'm picking up what you're putting down there. We got very lucky to not take damage. 
Two of diamonds, I popped it. We are not gonna take uh, red heart damage somehow. Very lucky curse room for us. Two keys for five bombs, I don't love it. Oh, we got, uh, yeah, these guys coming for us. Oh my god, be careful. Don't go across the whole floor. Ruka, I wasn't talking to you. You should go across the whole floor. Oh my god. He is... He is ornery. He is perturbed. Where are you at? You gotta be... Yeah, oh god! One of them's a bomb fly. I mean, I should be using, like, red candle here, but... I don't know where they are. There we go. Oh my god, now I gotta kill this guy, too? Well, he can red candle out, effectively. Uh, this is an issue, because that room took a hundred years. And we don't have a hundred years to still get the boss rush room. Mind you, maybe we don't want to do the boss rush room, Mom. Maybe we just want to be a professional soccer player like the oldest brother on Home Improvement. You ever think about that shit? I think about that shit all the time. Home Improvement was the bomb. It's actually not, by the way. Uh, just one, please. Oh, there's two, I think. Well, if we end up not being able to go to the boss rush room, that's still okay. Oh, Proptosis. This is gonna make our tears enormous. Well, it's not gonna be as easy to miss. Mind you, they're gonna get small real quickly and we're really gonna have to hit them on the first try. Also, maybe we should give up on our whole beat mom quickly thing because I'm mostly here because I wanna donate. But Proptosis might be one of the best items we could possibly get with Tiny Planet, as long as our shots hit right away. There's 500. Nothing? Nothing at 500? I still think we can do this. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll buy We'll buy all of it. That's a really good pill. Uh, we've been getting in a lot lately. Now, if we really, really rush, and this is the right way, we might have a chance. I, uh, this is not how you really, really rush, by the way. Here we go. Gotta be faster. Oh, we were close, thankfully. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 not even close. All right, let's do this, I'm ready. Fuck red candle. Get ready. Oh, hurry. The boss rush is real. The boss rush is real! Everything's real! Renounce your skepticism! Okay, okay, we got it. Um, it might close on us. It's not gonna close on us, okay. Get your spirit hard. You then get in there. See if you actually want what they have on offer. Uh... One of those is Cursed Eye. I'm not touching it. Wafer is so good. Mom's Eye... Might be fun. So here's the deal. Let me take a sip of my drink. I don't think um, this is the best item. I think the best item for us in this situation, no questions asked, is the wafer. But, because we have Tiny Planet, I wanted to see if we got the expected synergy with Mom's Eye, which is tears that come out from like the opposite direction. And we did! And it looks cool, and it actually helps us deal a lot more damage as well. I, I actually, I'm, I'm a fan of what happened to us on this, uh, on this boss rush. Mind you, we're gonna be in a bit of a dangerous spot as well. How did that fire deal no damage to you? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. There we go. Um, yeah, like, we're, we're gonna take some damage here. Remember my, my prevailing, uh, prevailing value in life is, uh, you know, absurdity, silliness, having fun, all that stuff. Enemies with only one vulnerable part are gonna be the worst part of this for us. Enemies of which we can actually, like, stand next to them and, and hit them a few times, I think they're gonna die pretty quickly. Like, our damage is not bad. Now, this wasn't necessarily the, the host of items that I was looking for. Oh, that was really dumb. But, it's... It's cool nonetheless. I, again, I should leave those spirit hearts on the ground. Let's, yeah, they're gonna be gone so quickly. Let's remember that for the future. Spirit heart falls, you leave it on the ground. There's one over there. Don't forget about it just because of Curse of Darkness. Don't you forget about spirit hearts. 
Seriously, people will be really mad. I've, I've never seen The Breakfast Club, really, but I've, you know, I've listened to the radio, so I know that song. What the fuck, Northern Lion? You've never seen The Breakfast Club? I've never seen The Breakfast Club, okay? It's not that big of a deal. Just get over it, person I just made up in my head here. Um, I'm actually, I'm rebuking my earlier strategy, and I'm actually choosing to fire straight ahead. Because I'm finding that as the shots come around, they actually, due to their short range, I think, have a pretty, pretty good chance, wow, that was bad, uh, a pretty good chance to just hit the enemy directly in front of you, albeit a little more slowly than you would expect them to do it uh, normally. But because of the, the, the shortened range, they're not actually like that uh, far off. Whereas normally with Tiny Planet, you shoot them and then they go like 50 feet ahead of where you actually want them to go. And our damage is actually pretty freaking sweet here with Proptosis. I'm not sure if you've noticed. But our, our Proptosis is holding it down right now. Now, that all being said, I don't know how I feel about our long-term chances on this run, but I'm having a lot of fun with it as is. I really like, this is why I pick up Tiny Planet, right? This is why when people are like, oh, why do you pick up Item X and ruin your run? I'm like, damn dog. You know what? One day, somebody on the subreddit or in, on YouTube is gonna come up with this sweet synergy that they found because they were taking risks with items. And you're gonna read it and you're gonna say, good thing I didn't put in any of the legwork myself to figure that out. I'll just piggyback off of other people's, uh, d you know, riskiness and, you know, take advantage of that. I'm not trying to make you feel like a jerk, okay? I'm just saying, you gotta live a little bit. Not everything in Isaac's just about man-maxing, you know? Sometimes you gotta just man up or lady up and enjoy your own, uh, Enjoy your run. Sometimes you gotta handicap yourself. If you're one of the people out there saying, oh, Rebirth's too easy. Maybe you should try picking up Tiny Planet sometimes. Who knows, you might even have a fun time in the process. All right, uh, I might, you know, my pedestal's over here. My, my soapboxing. I would like to take out the bloat first, just because he's a little bit less predictable. Um, gotta make sure, we're oh, right, I can't fly. I don't know why I thought I could fly. I guess I'll die. Look, do as I'd say, not as I do. Somehow I found a safe pocket behind here. Remember, don't pick up the spirit hearts, if you can avoid it at least. Wow, lucky me. All right, we're on the horseman already. That's pretty good for us. I don't really care if I take red heart damage at this point. It, it makes almost no difference to me. To quote the best Canadian band of Sum 41, or best Canadian band of all time, Sum 41. They are obviously the best Canadian band of Sum 41 as well, uh, just by default. You know why they're named Sum 41? It's actually an interesting story, I'm assuming. I don't know why they're named it, I was just guessing. Maybe that was like the sum of their ages at the time that they formed. There was three seven-year-olds and a 20-year-old. I don't know what I'm talking about. Where's where's my other friend here? War! What is it good for? Ruining your run because it's exactly the same luminosity as the floor itself. All right, one last assortment of enemies, and then we're done with boss rush. And honestly, I'm glad we did it. Sincerely, a name to kill for. That's that's actually sincerely too, my mistake. So we are gonna pick up our spirit arts here. I, I we lost a little bit of HP. Not very much though. Are we done? We got the shears. Oh, thank God. All right, so we we got a good amount of HP now. Let's head down. Never gonna regret that. Probably. Alright, we can't really see where we're going, but that's okay. I don't know just where I'm going. Should probably stop trying to imitate Lou Reed. I just took three spirit hearts worth of damage from walking on creep that I didn't see. So how am I doing today? Not so good. I still have no idea what Swallowed Penny is doing, which is hilarious because Swallowed Penny is one of those situations where maybe it's winning me the run. Maybe it is an extra spirit heart chance when you pick up a penny. That's why we had so many spirit hearts. I don't know. I'm very confused about what it does. Maybe sometimes it gives us more than one penny. Maybe sometimes when we pick up a penny, it just deposits a key in our inventory or something. I really have no idea. Well, uh, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to pick up a, uh, a deal with the devil on this floor. 
Because I would really... The one thing that I, I still need to do is, because people who poo-poo Tiny Planet, I say, hey, Tiny Planet's fun, you just gotta stop being a big old stick in the mud. And they say, well, yeah, wait till you get Mom's Knife Tiny Planet, it fucking sucks. So that's what I'm hoping for, is Proptosis Mom's Knife Tiny Planet. By the way, you're entitled to play the Binding of Isaac however the fuck you see fit. Don't let an asshole like me come around and be like, You don't play the Binding of Isaac like I play the Binding of Isaac? Wow, let me use a variety of funny voices to highlight how stupid I think you are. That's just being a jerk, alright? That's not the person I want to be. Don't let me define your... Define your playstyle like that. I didn't get to deal with the devil here because I took too much dumb damage against Mr. Fred, who is apparently my nemesis in spite of the fact that he should be easy. We'll be heading down to the next floor. You have to excuse me, I'm taking frequent breaks to drink from this water here. I have been recording for a long time today. I want to make sure your throat stays hydrated, you know? You don't want to get any nuts caught in it. <laughs> Seriously, though, I do have a largely nut-based diet. <laughs> for real, though, like, you know, legumes and stuff like that. I guess legumes aren't really nuts? I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's not an intentional thing, by the way. Anytime you mention food on the internet, all these internet Mike Changs come out of the woodwork. Why do you eat so many nuts? They're okay in moderation, but because of their, you know, caloric density, it's easy to overdo it. Ah, damn, dog. I sit on my ass playing video games all day. All day. I, I don't care about the caloric density of, uh, of peanuts, you know? I'm not gonna... If that's some unsolicited advice, do you do that to people on the street? Oh my god, do you know the saturated fat content in a Big Mac? I'd be like, hey! Shut up, you're being a jerk. But on the internet, apparently, it's somewhat acceptable. I don't know, I don't know, the kids these days. Kids these days, I'm doing the kids these days thing. It's, I'm not, I don't actually mean kids these days. It's not just kids who, who act uh, weird on the internet. That's why I kind of like, I shake my head whenever people are like, oh, kids on the internet, right? They're all jerks, all jerks are kids. Have you ever read, like, if you want a, a nice change of pace, like a, some perspective, and you think it's only like, 11 year old kids who are assholes on the internet go to like your local newspapers webpage and Look up any story Literally any story, but particularly one that has to deal with like crime But it could be like eight-year-old girl wins reading competition and there will be an argument in the comments somehow It's the mayor's faults and if, as if there's like anything even for the mayor to be mad about that an eight-year-old girl won like a reading contest and these people they're all freaking 65 years old and I never knew this, but apparently, once you reach the age of 65 years old, and I know that the, this is their job title because the Facebook linked comments, they're stupid enough to put their freaking job titles there in their comments, so now I know which companies never to visit because their owner's an asshole. But yeah, they're all freaking owner CEOs of companies I've never heard of. Well, I'm, you know, Bill Sanderson, and I'm the owner CEO of Buttfuck Productions, and man, I think that eight year old girl's a little bitch. That's basically what all those, and the other thing you can do is go to ESPN. People talk shit about YouTube comments all the time. The ESPN.com comments, this is a sports network in the United States, they have linked Facebook comments, and it will completely remove your faith in humanity. You will never be able to look at mankind as a, a race capable of good ever again over the course of your whole life. This is like 40 year old people, 50 year old people, adults is what I'm trying to say basically, their age doesn't really matter. Um, just getting, going hard on one another about fucking sports. Like seriously getting up at each other's asses about, about sports. And I'm not one of those people who's like sports. Who cares about it's just a bunch of overgrown men you know, punching each other in the face. I'm more civilized than that. I play Netrunner. By the way, nothing against Netrunner. Anyway, um, I think I, I might lose this run, but I'm having a fun time on it regardless. That's the most important thing to me right now. Oh, that was real bad. Well, we got permanent Polaroid invincibility. Let's make it work for us. Okay, we lived temporarily. Thank you, little chub, for that so I can finish my rant. People are like, the Redskins beat the Cowboys 41 to 11. And then you look at the comments and it's like, I don't even want to repeat some of the stuff that happens in there. It's actually like, it's actually heinous. Uh, so, there you go. You, you can check that out. That's why I always cringe a little bit when people are like, you mad about, uh, you know, people leaving angry comments? Don't worry, it's just kids. Just kids. No, sir. It is not just kids. There are assholes of all ages. So, I probably shouldn't have taken Tiny Planet. There you go. 
That run failed. And I don't think we discovered anything new on it either, unless Swallowed Penny was new for us. It was not. Man. At least we got to donate a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a lot. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.